And one more gear change up, got one last gear, I click at the shifter. So that was good. It jumped up pretty quick. It's pretty quiet in this gear, but there was a little bit of a noise. There was a rub, and what that rub was, this upper pulley wheel, uh, it rubbed as it was getting climbing onto this bigger gear. So it basically touched the gearing, um, and that's where you hear, it kind of sounded like a brrrr. Hit the shifter, and it basically that plastic pulley wheel pushed the chain into this last gear for about a second, and then once it climbed on, it, would, it backed off. And uh, so that's going to be a B screw adjustment. That's the one of the th three screws that we have here. One, two, three. On this bike, it's the Shimano M8000 XT Shadow Plus. Uh, shadow meaning it's very narrow. It sits close to the bike frame. It doesn't stick out here. It's a lot, a lot more narrower. The plus is the switch that we have off and on that puts tension on my lower cage right here. And so. B screw adjustment. This is where, exactly where you want the chain to be. So I'm running a single gear in the front. If you're if you're running a double or a triple, then you have uh, two gears or three chain rings in the front. Downshift to your smallest gear in the front, and then we're going to be in the easiest climbing gear in the rear. So that's going to be your biggest gear in the rear. Then we can address our B screw on this particular model. Our B screw is right here. You can say that's in the middle. We got a screw here, screw here, and another one. A screw there and these take two millimeters a two millimeter allen wrench don't get confused with the torques both can fit each other the tools can fit um, opposite uh, parts but at some point it's going to slip and then you're going to strip your bolts and start to wear down your tool so these are two millimeter allens and if you have one um, I have a ball end right here but um, I have an old one where I, I sanded or grinded the ball end off, so I just have a flat piece because the ball ends don't have the greatest fit all the time. They allow you to come in at angles, but I don't need to be at an angle. I need to come in straight and get as much material, tool material, into this bolt as possible. So this one, it has a ball end, but I'm gonna be very careful. If you have a lot of resistance, definitely grab another tool. If you don't have a T-handle or something with a ball, you can grab one of your L wrenches here. And let's see, we're going for two mil, 1.5, two. So we'll use this guy. This has a ball end as well, but you can use the other end that does not have a ball end. Um, God, just for convenience though, it's nicer to do it this way. But this screw turns pretty easy, so I'm not worried about putting too much pressure and damaging this. Back to the B screw. So if we're getting that little bit of rub, let me go ahead and demonstrate that again. You might hear it too on the downshift down. So we're going one click down. One click should get me one gear change down. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go back up. So right there it was like and then it was basically like a big absurd burp. And I'll go back down, I'll go back down two more, up shift one. That was fine. And there it is, that burp again. We'll just call it a burp, almost like a, a tubeless tire burp. But anyways, um, a little bit close there. So when I'm in this gear, the biggest gear, it's not rubbing there. It could also rub there if it was. We're gonna make the B screw adjustment. So locate your B screw adjustment. It's not gonna say B, it's not gonna say high. Um, you just have to know where it's at. Um, this one here. So we got low limit screw. B screw and then the other one over here is a high limit screw so this one here we're gonna tighten righty tighty clockwise and on some of these derailers you can actually see the derailleur start to rotate back this upper pulley will start to move back and when it moves back it's taking chain with it it's rotating back like that and basically unwrapping chain off of your gear so in reality you want as much chain around this gear as possible without getting that chain rub this is our upper pulley wheel, and here's the chain. As the rear derailleur moves back, it's pulling the rear pulley wheel back and taking chain off of the, this gear, just like that. That's a little uh, exaggerated, but that's what's happening when I tighten righty-tighty my B-screw. When I unloosen my B-screw, it's allowing this pulley wheel to come back with chain to wrap more chain around that gear, just like that. And again, if we're too close, we're gonna get this this wheel is going to push the chain right into that gear and get a lot of rubbing sound. So at this point, we're getting that little bit of rubbing sound only when we're shifting up from the second to the last gear up to the last gear. That's when we're getting a little rub, it's like a burp. So we're gonna tighten righty tighty that B-screw and I'm gonna overdo this so you can see what's happening. 
So that's one full turn right there, half turn, another half turn. So you can see it moving pretty good. So that's probably too much. Textbook, if you were to look in the park tool book, it puts a six millimeter Allen tool right in between the upper pulley wheel and that last gear. But you know, that's without a chain. In this case, I'm not going to take the chain off to get an exact measurement. We're just gonna go by ear and eyeball and sound. So I'm gonna come back a little closer. Okay, so we're gonna test that. We're gonna downshift one gear. And then going up shifting from the second to the last to the last is where we heard that sound. So we're in the second to the last gear. We're gonna upshift to the last tallest gear. And we're gonna see if we get that same rubbing sound. Uh, no rubbing sound. Chain jumped up nicely. It's quiet while it's in this gear. All the other sounds we're hearing is totally normal. If you think you have a dry chain, go ahead and lube it up, wipe off your excess. I'm gonna downshift again, test it. That was nice, I'm gonna upshift again. Just the slightest hint of a rub of that pulley wheel pushing the chain onto that last gear, but I can be pretty nitpicky. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go maybe another half turn of righty tighty tightening on that B screw. That's going to bring that pulley wheel back and away. So less chance of the pulley wheel making contact with that big gear. Downshift one, upshift. That was nice. When we upshifted, I heard no more sound and it jumped up quickly and it's quiet while we're in that gear. That's exactly what we're looking for. And we're all done with the B screw. So once that B screw gets adjusted, we should not ever, ever have to go back and make any adjustments to it. That is not a gear we, or a, a, an adjustment we make when we have issues going on. Our go-to is always the barrel adjuster. Same with the limit screws. Once the limit screws are set, we do not have to touch them ever again, so to speak, you know, unless uh, something, somebody else messes it up or we get into a bad crash or we're putting on a new derailleur. But usually we set them at the beginning and don't have to touch them again if they're set correctly. Everything that happens from one end of the gear to the other, everything in the middle will be addressed with the barrel adjuster.